Hello everyone, uh, I'm Abhijit. I'm from National Institute of Technology, Karnataka, India. And I'm one of the 12 GSOC students under Julia this year. So my, uh, my project is a backend diagnostic graph layout.jl. So these are the graph visualization packages in Julia that exist right now. Graphviz, graph layout, network quiz, graph visualize, text graphs, graph plot. There are benefits and demerits for all these graph packages, but then most of these use the same algorithms. So this is as an example of the current scenario right here. Like we have graph layout using Compose, graph visualize using GL visualize, and network is using 3JS. That is, we have the same code. That is, uh, more three packages use the original code that is taken from graph layout, but then using three different packages. That is a lot of redundant code. So my project is here. Project here is to bridge the gap in between. So that will be graph layout will no longer be coupled with Compose. It will it'll be decoupled and it will be generating a layout object that can be used with different backends. So basically, at the, towards the end of the project, we'll have a backend diagnosing graph layout. And we can use the same algorithm with multiple backends without uh, the redundant redundancy in code. So this is a basic structure of the layout object that I've come with, come with right now. You, ha you can see the node will be a, a, a node object and an edge object. The edge will be the, uh, it will contain the indices of of the uh, of the nodes, and then we can specify whether it's directed or not. So it's a basic structure. Uh, like as we progress, we'll have more properties to the nodes and edges that will come inside the types. And show your current status. This one. So th this is how graph layout used to work. You you have the adjacency matrix, and then you give it to the existing uh, algorithm, and it'll give you give back. Uh, uh, give back the coordinate system, and then you use it with Compose to draw the layout. So instead, what I'm doing here is graph layout initially supported just 2D algorithms, and I have ported all the algorithms to 3D right now. So here, as you can see, I'm using light graphs, and then I I I, uh, I generate an adjacency matrix, and I pass it to this algorithm. It is a force vector displacement algorithm, and it will give back all the coordinates that we need to plot the graph. And this is a new function that I added to return the network object instead of drawing it directly with Compose. So what we can do is we can use this network object with any of the backends and then visualize it. So visualization is currently in progress. Uh, like I was able to implement it with 3JS, but unfortunately it works only with Azure. I can't demo it in Jupyter Notebooks. So it works with Azure, and it looks uh, similar to uh, network visualizations. And uh, so. What next? Uh, the next thing will be we have to add uh, network type to geometry types or jail so that it uh, all backends can work with the same type. So it's something like a generalized feature. And then pull request to all the backends compose, 3JS, and GL visualize so that they have the support for the new type. And once the type is generated, you can just uh, call the functions from each of the backends and then visualize it easily. Then the next part will be accelerating the graph load algorithms. The problem currently with algorithms is that it is too slow. Uh, it, it has a cubic loop inside it. So basically, for, some, uh, for like 10,000 nodes, it takes around two minutes. That's like too slow for a graph visualization package. So we have to accelerate it using either GPU or CPU accelerations. And then support for node and edge properties that will include size, uh, color, and all the stuff. And then support for parallel graphs or JL parallel graphs is at another um, GSOC project uh, done by Pranav. And it will support graph, uh, it is, it's a graph packages that uses, uh, um, it's a graph package that uses all the um, um, parallel processing to compute graph operations. So that's it from my part. Uh, I'd like to thank Simon and Sashi for mentoring me for this project, and then Ian for the Ian and all the contributors of graphlayout.jl for the algorithms used in it. Thank you.